There's an unbelievable comment of the Orachayim HaKadosh in this week's parasha, in this second aliyah. The Torah famously records that upon B'nai Israel being instructed to bring the different materials to dedicate whoever wants to dedicate to the construction of the Mishkan, those who were building the Mishkan tell Moshe that they had enough. In fact, the Pasuk tells us twice. First, the Pasuk says in Pasuk, in Perik Lamed Vav, Pasuk Hay, that they told Moshe, Marbim Ha'am Lehavi, they brought more than enough, more than it is needed, Asher Tziva Hashem Lasososa, for the command from the Milacha, for the work that Hashem has commanded us to do. Only two Tzukim later, the Torah says, Ha'amilacha Ha'isodayim Lechol Ha'amilacha La'asososa Vehoser, that the work was more than enough for all the work to be done, Vehoser, and there was extra. The Orachayim HaKadosh says, asks the following two questions. He says, number one, within this second, this Pasuk, Pasuk Zayin, Hamalacha HaYisadayim, there was enough, there was sufficient materials brought. A few words later, Vehoser, and there was left over. So which was it? Was it enough or was there left over? Dayim implies that there was, Dayinu, that there was enough, that, 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 that there, there wasn't extra. But Vehoser implies that there was extra. So which was it? Was there enough or was there extra? Moreover, he asks that we just said to Psukim earlier that there was more than enough material brought. Why, does, why is his whole Pasuk necessary, he wonders? So he explains the following unbelievable idea. He says this Pasuk is penetrating the love that the Ribbon of Shalom, that the master of the universe that God has for B'nai Yisrael. In fact, it's emphasized in the two psukim earlier that yes, there was more than enough. I should see Hashem for this holy work that was done. Explains the Orachayim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu saw that there was extra. And in fact, there was extra. There was more than there was needed. But this was Melocha Shetziva Hashem. This was Mamish Avodas HaKodesh. This was pure holy work. This was partaking in the construction of the Mishkan where the Shekhinah would reside. Imagine the feeling one would have if you brought materials for the Mishkan and then you were told, you know what, never mind, we don't need what you brought. So once they had enough, they told everyone to stop bringing and that's fine. But if you had brought already and then you were told you don't, you weren't, yours wasn't needed, it would be a terrible feeling because what you brought was for something you were matriach, you, bought, you, you bothered yourself, you went through the hard work, and you brought it to the Mishnah. Says Orachayim, yes, there was hoser, there was extra. HaMalacha HaYisadayim, HaKadosh Baruch was the Makabal who made it, and made a miracle so that whatever was brought was needed. That really, there was extra. But Hashem made it so that everyone who went through that work who went through that dedication to bring and to donate to the construction of the Mishkan, Hashem made this space for that. That Hashem always makes the space as the Orachayim. When we go out of our way to do something holy, when we go out of our way to do something for Avodas Hashem, for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Hashem always makes the space, even if it's Vehoser, even if it's something which is unnecessary, if it's out of our love, it's out of our dedication to coming closer to Hashem, Hashem will always make sure that that avoda is necessary. Have a great day.